this week uh, we will be dealing with uh, theorems on the different kinds of parallelogram midline trapezoid and kite now the given is some um, parallelogram a b c d a b c d okay with diagonals okay at and diagonals a c and uh, d b intersecting at e so we're going to refer to this figure uh, in numbers uh, 1 2 6. Okay. For letter A, if par uh, parallelogram ABCD is a rectangle. Okay. Paano daw kung uh, etong given na to ay etong given na parallelogram ay rectangle. Okay. Uh, first, we're going to uh, define what is a rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Okay. Also, it has a characteristics, characteristics or properties Number one, uh, opposite sides are congruent. Okay, opposite opposite sides are parallel. Each diagonal separates the angle into two congruent triangles. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. Tapos sabi, all angles are right angles. So, ayan, lahat ng angle ay right angles. Also, the diagonals bisect each other. Ito yan, yung dalawang diagonals natin. And are congruent. Oh, they bisect each other and they are congruent. One of the properties or characteristic of a rectangle. So, let us now answer number 1. AE is 15. Ang AE ay 15. BE is Ano, 15 then why because it is one of the properties of a rectangle that states that the diagonal bisect each other and are congruent okay next so measure angle cbd c cbd okay eto i53 okay and then what is the measure of angle a b d remember that one of the properties or characteristic of a rectangle states that uh, the angles or all angles are right angles. So, ito yun. So, ibig sabihin, kung right angle, ito, 90 degrees yan. B, o. Oh. Kung 53 na to, ilan na lang ang kulang dito? Sa so, side naman na to, para maging 90. 37. That's why, the measure of angle, uh, measure angle A, B, D is 37. Okay, letter B. If parallelogram A, B, C, D is a square, o, oh, paano naman daw pag square to? Okay, ano nga ba ang... Uh, let's recall on the definition of a square. It is a parallelogram with four right angles and congruent sides. So, apat na right angles daw sa square and then congruent din siya. Siyempre. Okay, and take note. Uh, the diagonals of a square bisect each other. Okay, and then uh, when they bisect each other, they are also congruent and perpendicular. Okay, and also take note that in a square, it is the most special parallelogram ito sa square because all the properties of parallelograms and the, and the theorems on rectangles and rhombuses are true to all square. Okay, now i-apply natin yun. Oh, measure angle B, C, D. B, C, D ay syempre 90 kasi nga sabi nga for right angles eh, and are congruent one of the properties so 90 yan next DE ang DE ay 12 okay ano naman ang AC okay diba the diagonals bisect each other uh, are congruent and perpendicular sabi dun sa properties ng square ay sa diagonals nya okay and also one of its properties then so, kung ang DE ay 12, eto, DD12 din tong nandito sa side na to. So, ibig sabihin, eto, 12 din yan. So, kung yung buong yan ang hinahanap, doblehin mo. Kasi 12 to, 12 yung nandito. D24 mula A hanggang C. So, that's why ang AC ay 24. Okay, next. C, if parallelogram ABCD is a rhombus. Okay, paano naman pagka etong given natin na parallelogram ay rhombus naman daw. Ano ba ang definition ng rhombus? It is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So, eto yung mga side na yan. Congruent. Ayan. Isa lang ang measure niya. Let's say 5 to. Eh, di 5 na lahat yan. Etong side na yan. Ayan. Ayan. So, that's the definition of a rhombus. How about its uh, properties? Okay, all sides are congruent. Opposite sides 
are parallel. Each diagonal separates the rhombus into two congruent triangles. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. The diagonals bisect each other and are perpendicular. So, the diagonals bisect each other and are perpendicular. Okay. If uh, parallelogram ABCD is a rhombus, BC is 17. So, ang BC ay 17. Ano ang CD? CD. 17 din. Kasi nga, based dun sa definition ng rhombus kanina, nabi natin na it is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So, kung etong BC ay 12, ay 17 rather. So, eto, 17, 17, 17. Ayan. So, that's why CD is 17. Next, measure angle BCD. BCD is 150. Okay, eto. Or yung angle C, 150. Ano naman ang measure na angle BCA? Ayan, BCA. Okay. So, kung eto ay 150, hahatiin mo lang yan eh. Okay, yung buong to, itong buong angle C yung tinutukoy sa BCD ay 150. Okay, ano naman ang measure ng angle B, C, A? Okay, paano naman ang pagkakahati niyan? Okay, so since 150 itong buong to, pag dinibed mo lang naman sa dalawa, Dinivide mo sa dalawa, 75. So, 75. Itong nandito sa side na to, eto naman, 75 din. Kasi yung buong yan ay 150. Okay. Therefore, measure angle BCA, BCA ay, ano, 75. Very good. Letter D, given. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D is a kite with diagonals A, C and B, D. Intersecting at E. Okay. So, in number 7, measure angle E, A, B, E, A, B. Let's measure angle E, B, A. So, E, A, B or angle A. Uh, uh, e, A, B. O, oh, ito lang. Ito lang yan. Ito. Okay, yung kalahati na nandun. E, A, B. E, A, B. Ito lang. Ayan. Okay. Next. Plus measure angle E, B, A. E, B, A. Ito naman. Ayan. Ayan yung maliit na yan. Okay. Equals. Oh, ano daw ang measure? Bakit kaya 90 yung nandiyan dyan na sagot? Okay. First, we're going to define what is kite. A kite is a pa quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of adjacent congruent sides. With two distinct pairs of adjacent and congruent side. Okay, what are the theorems of kite? Or theorems on kite, we have the area of a kite is half the product of the lengths of its diagonals. Okay. So, kalahati lang ng length ng diagonals natin. Half the product of the lengths of its diagonal. Okay? So, et, kung ito yung dalawang diagonal, half the product, okay, yun yung area ng kite. Okay, ano, ano pa? We have the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular to each other. So, etong diagonals daw na to are perpendicular to each other. So, syempre pagka perpendicular itong nandito, automatic na natin alam na itong magiging angle na nandito, yaan, apat na yan, 90 degrees yan. Okay? Kasi nga, perpendicular. So, ibig sabihin, ang angle EAB, 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 eto, at ang measure ng angle EBA, EBA, pag ia-add mo yan, ay 90. Okay, paano ko nalaman na 90? Kasi, eto, sabi dun sa theorems kanina, the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular to each other. Eto yung dalawang diagonal natin. Ayan. Eto, at saka eto. 
Ayan, yan yung dalawang diag. Ito yung diagonal na una, ito naman yung pangalawa. Now, perpendicular to each other, so 90, ito 92. Ngayon, anong magiging measure nung nandi dito? Kasi ang triangle naman ay 180 lang, di ba? Okay, so ito ay 45, automatic, 45 na rin to. So, 45, 45 to plus 45, 90, that's why 90. Okay, yung number 7. Next, number 8. Measure angle CED. CED. O, oh, ganun pa rin. The diagonal. Sabi, uh, sabi dun sa theorems ng kahit. The diagonals of a kahit are, are perpendicular to each other. CED or E. Ito yan. Okay? So, 90 pa rin yan. Kaya 90 yung sagot dun. Okay, for letter E, this is the figure. Given D and E are the midpoints of the sides of triangle A, B, C. Okay, so, ito yung triangle A, B, C. A, B, C. Ang D and E ay midpoint ng triangle na to. Yan. Okay, yan yung midpoint natin. D and E. Okay, now, so, how are we going to apply the midline on this figure? Okay, i-define muna natin ano ba ang midline theorem? The segment whose end points are the midpoints. Ito, whose segment are, uh, whose end points are the midpoints. Ayan, ito yung end points are the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. Two sides of a triangle, ayan. Uh, is parallel to the third side and the half as long end parallel, ito yung first side natin parallel tong dalawang to to the third side and half as long kalahati, ito, kalahati lang daw nito itong haba ng nandito dyan so, parallel tong dalawa tapos ito ay kalahati lang daw nitong measure nito nitong nyaan yung nandito okay, so, paano natin isusulat yun Okay, first, we're going to look for the value of x. Dito, bakit kaya tin yung nakuha? Okay, so, eto, sabi ko kanina, yung measure nito, kalahati nito. So, eto yun, i-multiply natin sa one half yan. Okay, copy natin yung unang, uh, para, uh, yung midpoint natin. Midpoints, D and E. Okay, so itong segment na yan, x pa 7. Itong segment naman na to ay 4x minus 6. So, bali, ang nangyari nyan ay ito, de equals 1 half cd. Okay, so in uh, algebraic form, we have x pa 7 equals 1 half times the quantity of 4x minus 6. Itong x pa 7, yun yung de ha. Yung 4x minus 6, yun yung cd. Tapos, kalahati nito yung measure nun. Okay, next So, in here, we're going to cancel out the fraction 2. Okay, cancel natin. Pag ano natin ikakancel yan, i-divide natin both sides or i-multiply natin siya both sides by 2 dito, the side na to, at saka dito naman. Okay, multiply mo na. Multiply sa 1, divide sa 2, or pwede mo nang i-divide sa 2, or cancel na lang kasi 1 na rin naman yun. 2 divided by 2, 1. 1 divided by 1, 1. So, 4x minus 6 pa rin yun. Now, dito, kung ano yung minultiply natin dito, ganun din yung nandun doon. So, 2 times x, distribute natin, tapos 2 times 7. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times 7, 14. Okay, combining the like terms, eto, Itong 4x, pupunta rito, magiging negative 4x. Ito naman, positive 14, mapupunta doon, magiging negative 14. Hindi mo nilipat yung negative 6, kaya negative 6 pa rin yan. Okay? So, what is negative 4x plus 2x? Ah, negative 4x plus 2x, negative 2x. Equals, ano ang negative 6 minus 14? Negative 20. Divide both sides by negative 2 to cancel out negative 2 on this side. x is equal to 10. Okay, so 10 yung x natin. Kaya 10 yung sagot doon. Now, ano yung hinahanap sa number 10? DE. Ano, ano ba measure nitong DE? So, substitute lang natin yung x plus 7. Yung x na nakuha natin, yung isa substitute natin dito. So, 10 plus 7 is 17. So, ibig sabihin, ang DE ay 17.